Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 48 of Europa Universalis 4 as Spain. In the last video, France declared a war on Savoy, um, which is really good for us because one, it means that France is unlikely to pick on me anytime soon. Um, it also means if I wanted to go to war with France, that might actually work out quite well for us because I believe that this war also includes Austria. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can find that. Uh, current wars. Uh, what are England involved in there against the Creek and the Peacock? Yeah, we're not bothered about that. So yeah, it's France and France's colonial nations versus Savoy, Austria, Hungary and Venice. That's actually really good. So Venice is involved in the war as well. Excellent. So I actually want to take Venice. I also want to attack France, but I think at the moment Venice would be a really good one to get. Now we are waiting for this diplomat to come back. If I declare a war on Venice, we've got to wait for that diplomat anyway. Um, but if I declare a war on Venice, I've got a feeling that maybe Savoy won't come in to help them. And even if Savoy do come in to help them, we've also got the fact that um, France is keeping Savoy busy. So yeah, they're normally allied with France, so the only one that would actually come in to help them would be the Knights. Now the Knights are down here on Rhodes, they'll be easy enough to wreck. So I think we just go straight in here and take this. Um, before we just do that, who do the Knights have as allies? The Knights are allied with Brandenburg, so I do not want to co the Knights. Okay, so let's go in and just confirm should be easy enough um let's go ahead and put these guys on the boats now they do have some ships out there but we're not bothered about that even slightly because they've just got what is essentially four lights uh, they've got a few more ships there again mostly lights they're not really going to do anything uh so let's go ahead and oh, will it let me select the ships please there we go we want to go ahead drop the transports uh, to drop the troops off there. I don't even know if Venice have got any troops there. I can't see any. Ah, here's Venice's troops. It looks like they're coming back to try and get involved. This pink always does something really weird on this game with the clouds. It always does... Uh, you probably can't see it on YouTube, but it always does this really weird thing where the colours flicker and... I don't know what's going on with that. It's strange. So it looks like Venice are coming down here to try and siege some of my stuff out. That's fine. We've already got a 7% chance to get this siege here anyway. So I'm not concerned about that at all. Uh, am I in a war with somebody? <laughs> Did I forget about one? Um... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was in a war with these guys over here, and we've got 100%. Um, we've got the diplomat, but that's why I was waiting for the diplomat. I remember now. So let's go ahead and sue for peace with these guys. We want to take... Um, can we not take everything? Yes, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, how much money have you got? That is a nice little bit of money. Let's go ahead and send our demands there. Three more provinces. Thank you very much. Let's come down here. We don't really need this fort. It's outdated anyway. Get rid of it. Um, do the coring first. Relatively cheap. And then let's go back to what's going on in Venice. Looks like they might actually now try and come over. Yep, they're trying to siege the fort. They don't even have enough manpower to do it. Defenders desert. Hopefully we'll just get a few good rolls here and we'll be able to sort that out. Um, we are blockading. Let's just dock up for the end of month tick so that we get the um, the repair tick. That's a really sort of gamey thing. I mean, obviously it is a game, um, but you only have to um, you only have to dock up for the last few days of the month to get the repair tick. You don't actually have to be docked for the entire month. And if the month end tick is on a different day to the siege tick, because blockading for the siege bonus only counts on the tick of the uh, siege actually completing, or the, the siege tick completing. So you can literally just keep diving in and out. It's really, really easy. Right, okay. So that's going to force their ships out. Let's, go, let's stay on the, uh, on the island for now and let our navy handle things here. They can't do anything about that at all. They're completely screwed. So we'll let them stay there for now until this battle's over. We are losing a few ships. I think we lost... Um, we did lose four heavies there, which was unfortunate. But it's not, not the end of the world for us. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, dot these guys up. Um, they are... Looks like they were trying to force march somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, let's just go ahead and um, bring the army back down here. I'm not sure if they're going to go and attempt... 
to uh, get back to their own territory. But we'll see if we can go ahead and run them down. They might just decide to stay there. Remember that Venice have got no allies in this apart from the knights, and the knights aren't really going to be able to do anything. So let's just go and dock up. They are going to try and march away. Um, we need to stop here. Let's put the uh, forced march on, see if we can catch them. No, they're going to go back and try and unsiege um, un Venice. Which is fine, because we'll go and drop on them down there. I don't mind doing a naval landing on them, it'll be fairly easy. <laughs> so, we'll take the ships out to sea. Lose the stability. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Just... For no reason at all, lose a stability. Now, they are not going to cross, which is strange. You're going to come down here, are you? Excellent. Please do. What are they trying to do? Right. Get the boot on and march over here. Uh, the nobility loses 10 loyalty. We lose a lot of money to gain yearly prestige and more possible advisors. Sure, we've got the money by a long shot. Uh, we are going to catch them, thankfully. Uh, that is a stack wipe. Thank you very much. So let's just quickly get over here and deal with the knights. Now, how many heavies did I say we lost? We lost four. Uh, we got plenty of money. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some more. So one, two, three, four... Um, we could possibly go up to getting 20. I mean, there's no reason why not. I'm not necessarily sure how much naval superiority we're going to need, but let's go for it. One, two, three, four, and five. So that'll be a lot of heavies, but we're making a lot of money, so it's okay. Uh, you guys don't need to have that on. Uh, there's no point waiting for the tick. Let's get you on the boats. Let's get you down here. We should be able to deal with the knights relatively quickly. Uh, looks like our trade fleet took a little bit of damage. Obviously, we ran into somebody's ships. Uh, a colony has become self-sustaining. Which is excellent, because we now have Spanish Canada. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to try and do is move in here and just sort of block uh, Norway off a little bit in there. See what we can do. And again, we need to attack these guys. There's just so many things that we need to do. So many people that we need to attack. We've got the French down here as well. We might want to go and deal with them. Uh, when we attack France, we're going to have to deal with their colonies as well. Uh, but we will have our colonial nations helping us, so that's not too bad. Uh, yes, the Knights. That's what we were working on next. So we should be able to take this fairly easy. It's not a great province for us, but sure, if we can take it, we'll take it. Um... Oh, Venice also have um, Crete as well, do they? Interesting. Wasn't aware of that. Well, we'll have that from them. They clearly don't need it. Let me unpause. That makes life easier. Go and drop off in there. Now, why are we dropping off from here when the port for Crete is on the opposite side? Let's just wait until the army lands. And then we'll just move the navy around to the other side. We'll catch those seven galleys as soon as they come out. Venice is wanting to peace out, which is hardly a surprise. Increased ship costs. Well, no, we're, we're ahead on Diplotech, so we can wait for that one. We don't want that from you. We need a new military guy. Um, discipline all the way. We can take a new tech, which would be military tech. We'd be massively ahead of time if we did so. Are there any policies that we can act? Particularly military policies. Um, morale of armies, plus 5%. Siege ability, plus 10%. That could be really useful. Especially when, if we're going to attack France pretty soon, which we are. We'll also take our Golden Age as well before we attack France. So I want to get this war over and done with pretty quickly. So those ships are going to get forced out. We do have a rebellion up here. Now, the locals might be able to take care of it, but I'm going to go and help them anyway. Um, oh, the knights are all the way over here. Interesting. Oh, well, it's not going to help them much because we're about to go and uh, invade their land. That belongs to Cyprus still. How are you still independent? Because you're allied with Würzburg and Nassau. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Let's just go and dock up the fleet. We'll get the repair tick as well. And never have too much money. Quite agree. 
So let's pick you up. Let's go back to um, taking roads if we can. We won the battle against the natives. Well, we kind of expected that we would. Lost a general, which is unfortunate. Right, let's go and drop over here. It wasn't this general that we lost, so that's a good thing. Uh, we do have a free colonist. Do we really? Why do we have a free colonist? Uh, they're my navies, not my colonies. Um... Hmm. Ah, the knights are down here, are they? Interesting. Well, we'll go and uh, deal with you. You're probably trying to get on the boats or something. Um, so, yeah, it would be nice if we could take this province, which we probably should, to be honest. Oh, look, more separatists. Let's go back and deal with them, then. Um, yeah, we probably want to colonise these provinces here, if we can. So many things going on. Right. Well, we've won this battle over here. We just need the fort to fall. It might take a while, but we... Oh, we don't have any siege on this general. I thought this general actually had some siege, but apparently not. Well, we can we can wait a little while, I think. Look at this massive stack in France. An 86k stack from Savoy in Austria. Um, quarantine the province. Colonialism CB against Netherlands. Now, why did we lose the colonialism CB against the Netherlands? Right, you guys get down there and go and deal with them. Yeah, you're trying to move out. You're not stupid, are you? But you shouldn't be able to get through the Netherlands, though. But yeah, if we can sort of block this province in, which I'm sure we can. I mean, how far do you think you're going to get? You're going to go that way into Honduras, are you? Good luck with that one. They might get on the boats. Um, if we get to our next point, yeah, and then can we force march if we stop here? We probably won't catch them. No, they did manage to get away, Jammy Gits. Okay, we'll allow them to recover. Venice want a piece out. We can still take the new tech. We're not at the cap yet. Um, so we'll probably wait. We can pick that up just before going to war with France and hopefully be a tech ahead of them. Uh, not bothered about the natives. We're still waiting for this full, um, siege to go in our favour. We have got a wall breach, which is good. So negative 35% chance for it to fall. Negative 14% chance for it to fall. But I've actually had a siege leader down there. It may have worked out better for us. Let's have a quick look at force limit. Um, we're only one away from our max force limit, so there's not a lot of point in doing anything else. So, we'll have, like, 120k up here. I might want to bring that other stack up from India. But I feel at the moment they're doing some solid work down there. We can always merc up heavily if we need to. How are France actually doing, just in terms of their, um, army? Um, France are now down to less than 100,000 men. And they've got next to no manpower. And they've got 26 uh, Merc stacks. So yeah, France is struggling right now. If we can get this war over nice and quickly, uh, we should have a real um, a real good time attacking France. 14% chance now that Rhodes is going to fall. So that is fantastic. Let's keep having a look over here. They're definitely like constantly landing troops, but... They just can't really do anything against us, so I'm not all that bothered about it. So, with that being the case, let's move you down here and we'll go and send the other... Um, we can always like, split half the mercenaries off if we have to go and deal with a, with a rebellion or something. And I do want to grab more uh, mercenary maintenance, more expensive, or lose 10 prestige. Venetia gets terrorized by mercenaries, giving it national unrest. Oh, we'll just have to go and do that one. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, we will take this, like, other bits and pieces of land that we haven't managed to take. I think this is a wasteland. British Mexico is getting quite out of hand, but there's not really a lot that I can do about that right now. We will actually attack Britain at some point. They're still on my hit list, so they're definitely not going to get away with things that easily. Uh, the trade fleet, we can try and get another couple of lights in there. 
Um, we do have some more heavies, you'll have noticed. So let's pick those up and send them in. Try to build them all in the places where they'd be built quite quickly. Still waiting on the others, although they shouldn't take too long, actually. There's three of them now. Uh, in fact, there's all five of them, so... Let's go and grab all of those. Let's go and send them all over to here. Okay, so we've won the Siege of Rhodes. Not bothered about these requests for peace here. So, we want to go to Rhodes. We want to sue for peace with you. We're going to take your one little island, because that's literally all you've got. We're going to take all your money, and oh my god, are you loaded. You've got over a thousand ducats. So, the knights and our ours, fantastic. Um, we'll probably end up with a load of unrest here, so I'm just going to bump the autonomy up to 100, because why not? Um, let's go ahead and pick these troops up. And then we can peace out with Venice. We are going to need to um, call these, of course. So, um, yes, Venice, we need to peace out with you. Still waiting for the diplomat to come back one day. There we go. Sue for peace. I want both of your provinces, which you'll happily give me. I want all of your money, which is how much now? Another nearly 3,000 ducats. Thank you very much. Okay, that's Venice out of the war. We're no longer at war. Um... Again, we need to call these. I'm going to bump the autonomy up because the unrest is, is just huge there. Um, and we'll we'll do that on the other one as well. We'll do it in Crete. Let's go ahead and just bump the autonomy up. Um, so let's pick the army up. And let's go ahead and drop you off over here. Um, it'll probably be enough, in all fairness. Um... Obviously, we are overextended. Yeah, that's a lot. We need that to go away before we can really um, take anything from France. Doesn't mean we can't go to war with France. We just need the overextension to go away first. Let's get the stability up, because why not? We will take the tech before we attack them. Too many diplomatic relations. Bermanis, we still have military access with. We don't need that. So, let's go ahead and... Um, Cancel our military access. Now, who are we working on here? This is Vijaynagar. I, again, I, for, I keep forgetting to go and fabricate claims. But yeah, we need to go and... Um, we need to go and grab... Uh, some, well, it's, no, it's not Vijaynagar we need. Well, yeah, it is. We can take some from them. We can take some from these guys as well. Yeah, Vijaynagar we definitely need. Uh, we do actually have some cores down here, actually. And Vijaynagar don't have much going on. They don't have any alliances and the... CB is um, over. Yeah, we can, we can go ahead and attack these guys quite easily, I think, actually. Uh, we have no diplomats to send. We're just waiting for one to come back. That is fine. Our leader, William, is now a bold fighter. Land leader shot plus one. Getting all the good stuff coming out today. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and take Vijaynagar, if though we may want to hold off on that because of the overextension, which is a very good point. Um, we have managed to core somewhere. So let's go ahead and start these uh, religious conversions. And of course, we, we want to get to war with France as soon as possible, I think. Are France still at war? No, they have peaced out. Have they recovered yet? No, they've got 85,000 men. They're actually disbanding some of their mercenaries, so this works out really well for us. Um, all of those heavies that went over there now need to come back over here. So if I was to declare war on France right now, France are allied with Congo. Um, Congo is down here. I don't have anything directly next to Congo, so I'm not too concerned. Also got a load of mercs down here that I built to deal with some rebels, but the rebels appear to have gone. So, this might actually work for us. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got some really good generals down here. Um, let's just go ahead and make sure we've got, like, all of the generals down here. We can afford another one as well. So, let's go ahead and get another. Oh, you're nice. I've got a three-star general now. Yeah, so these are some good generals. Let's go ahead and take the tech. It'll give us more tactics and more shock. We are massively ahead of time now, but that puts us on military tech 21 to France's military tech 20. Um, 
how is the overextension going? It's getting there. Venison Roads is going to take a long time, but I can't really afford to wait too much on France. So let's go ahead and declare the war. Congo will come in. We don't care. We can call the Palatina in if we want to. We could also call the Asian for the promise of land, which you know what? I don't actually mind doing. So let's call both of those in. They will help. I mean, they're not going to do an awful lot, but they'll keep France sort of um, occupied for a little while. We can lose 100 ducats. Let's just move these men in close by so that we can reinforce if we need to. Now, before we go mad, let's make sure we look around on the map here because we know we are close to several other French colonies and we will want to deal with them as much as we can, um, particularly... Uh, this one down here. So if we can siege as much of this out as possible, um, that will help us out. Uh, they're also starting to colonize Florida. But yeah, we want to try and grab as much stuff as possible. Um, obviously, we're at war with Congo. Like I said, I'm not particularly fussed about them. They're just going to sit down there with some boats and probably not do anything useful. Um, France does have... Um, Apparently, I'm uh, I'm still missing a uh, heavy somewhere, but I've I've gained a, a galley. Oh well, we'll keep it for now. It's not hurting. Um, let's get all of the ships together. Uh, not the lot, the um, transport, the trade fleet. We don't really need to do that right now. Uh, but it would be nice if we could sort of try and catch out some of these uh, French ships. I think we'll just need to stay up there and blockade, really. I don't think the French are really going to be that much of a problem for us. We are starting to capture stuff over here, which was to be expected. There is a French... No, that's our, uh, our allies. I just saw blue, and every time I see blue, I think French. But no, we're getting we're getting stuff done. So uh, here's a, uh, a stack of 13k French troops. That's actually quite nice um, that they've sent a, a stack of troops. Oh, we don't have a leader. I'd completely wasn't looking at the numbers there at all if you actually come in and reinforce though which it looks like you will uh, we will win that fight so that's quite a nice thing there's some more um we'll gain the base tax because we'll get plenty of prestige from the war so let's go ahead and take these um, places we still need to do some more religious conversions and let's make sure we keep our eye on what's going on over here because they do have boats. They may land troops behind us. It's the sort of thing France like to do. You guys can all group up. But yeah, we should be able to get some fairly... Why are we at negative war score? They actually occupy any of my um, territory. I don't think they do. Interesting. Um, it's probably just for the uh, the blockades, actually. So we'll take as much of this land down here as we can. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Where were you going to retreat to? You're actually skulking off. That's fine. We'll continue to take as much land around here as possible. Is that actually a separate... I was going to say, I thought that was a separate province for a moment there. Let's come down here and take all of this. We could just go and straight up siege that one. if we um, Seize it if we wanted to. But I don't think we will... Lose the stability or lose 700 ducats. We'll take the 700 ducats because we've got plenty of money. We have separatists. France are also over here being a pain in the neck. Um, let's go ahead and get another leader. And you know what? I'm quite willing to go over the leader limit for this. So let's go ahead and march these mercenaries in and we'll deal with the French troops first. If this colony ends up getting destroyed because we, we left it, so be it. But the French are locked in there. Do you know what we didn't do as well? We didn't actually go ahead and take the golden golden era. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, our, our interface changes and goes all nice and golden. Somewhere has come under the occupation of Congo already. Let's go and march over here. Um, oh, are you just moving down to there? Well, in that case, by all means, let us go and uh, meet up with you. So that's done. Now let's move over here. So a couple of things. We can invest in the technology. It's Diplotech. Um, we're not at the cap yet, so we might as well wait until the next year. Now then, somewhere has come under the occupation of Congo, I just heard. France are down here being a pain. Not a lot I can do about that. 
Uh, so was it somewhere here in Africa? Was indeed. Uh, you're Congo, so you're not going to be difficult to uh, to beat. Even though you've got a general, we should be able to uh, give you a good kicking. I hope, at least. This is where we find out that I'm I'm wrong. No, I mean, they've got... Our morale is like double what theirs is. So they don't really stand a chance. So not a problem there. How are things going in France itself? Oh, they're sending a 6k stack towards me. That's problematic. Uh, why did we lose so many men here? Did we lose a battle? Did we win a battle? Then another conversion. Let's go ahead and just send these men in just so we've actually got enough to siege. I mean, they're probably busy up here. Yeah, they're, they're too busy sieging, sieging out Liège that we're in here at just like getting all up in their face in the south. Let's go ahead and sort of start moving you guys up. Anyway, we're well over the 20 minute mark, so I am going to end the video here. And we shall continue in the next one. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Spain. I will see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.